Hey guys, what is up? It's Castle Perfect here today, bringing you another live Wi Fi battle, and I'm feeling better today, so that's great. Um, today, I'm gonna be battling Swaglith, which is going to be a guy that I just happen to know through Twitter. I was looking for a challenge or a challenger, and uh, he was the first one to accept my challenge, and it's kind of funny because we have the same Pokemon. <laughs> we both have a Porygon C on our team. So. Um, I'm just quickly going to grab my phone and take a picture because that way I can easily remember what the members are of my uh, opponent. Why is it blurry? I hate that. There you go. Thank you for the photo. Alright, so let me zoom in so I get to see the team all the time. So, um,. <coughs> I am still coughing, and uh, it's really not that bad as first, but I can still talk, and uh, I can breathe, which is great, I don't have a headache anymore, so I'm feeling a lot better, so let's go ahead and get started, so it's got a Rotom what, what the hell, I just happened to ban Gliscor, because I had another battle before this one, which I'm not gonna post, I don't like the battle, I just don't, and uh, it's not enjoyable, so why would I upload it? Other than that, and this team has a Rotom Wash form, which is just as annoying as Gliscor. Uh, but anyways, I'm just gonna see what I can do. I'm going to start off, though, with my... Right, what do I start off with here? He's got a pretty speedy and slow team. Alright, you know, whatever, I'm just gonna lead off with G Gardevoir. I'm just gonna lead off with Gardevoir. And, oh my god. No, I only got five Pokemons, I think. Crap, stupid timer, stupid, stupid timer. I hate that. All right, gotta tweet the guy again, because we gotta redo this. Alright, so I'm running away because a 5 versus 6, I'm not gonna do that. Especially not against somebody who knows how to play this game. Um, Alright, so I'm just gonna say we, we, we will just have to start with the same lead. Uh, and no, I wouldn't like to save my battle because that wasn't even a battle. Um, let me just go ahead and tweet him again. Same lead. Alright, so just... What happened? I just pressed let's battle and now it just out of the blue just threw me out. And he's no longer active. Oh no, he's active, okay. Alright, so battle. Yes, no... Save the game. Let's go. Alright. So we're three minutes into the game and the game hasn't even started. I hate that. I freaking hate that. Come on. Load quickly, please. Because I don't like wasting other people's time. Especially not my time. Alright, so let's go. Battle start. Choose my team. And let's roll. Let's roll. Okay. So, same lead. I just let off with my Gardevoir. So, I'm just going to do the exact same thing again. Confirm. And let's see where we get. Do -do -do -do. All right, so it's gonna lead off with uh, Spook, which is going to be the Confagrigus, and I'm going to lead off with Gardevoir. Obviously, I'm just going, not going to make Eiffel. I am not gonna do that. 
I am just going to go for a sidekick. Yeah, I'm just going to go for the sidekick here. And uh, maybe get a special defense drop or something. Or not. He's going to switch. He's going to go out into Rotom. Watch for him. Which is okay. That's going to do... Wow, that's going to do a lot of damage. I am absolutely just going to go for another psychic. And hopefully this takes him out. But I believe that the Rotom Wars form is going to be Scarfed or something. Yeah, it's Scarfed. It's going hit to hit me up with a Hydro Pump, which is not going to kill me, which is great. The Psychic is going to take him down absolutely perfect. Usually I don't get to take down Rotom's Wars form that easy. They are usually quite a lot. They take a lot to take, to take them down because they usually like to Fold Switch away and stuff. All right. So in comes the... <coughs> The dragon, um, and um, I am—I have no idea what he's gonna go for. But I do resist both his stab with Napoleon, um, so I guess that's my best call. I'm gonna switch out into Napoleon here and uh, sponge whatever he's gonna throw at me. I don't think he's gonna U-turn because that would—that would suck for me. I was just gonna go for the Eureka. He misses. Oh, I feel bad for you now, though. I feel bad for you. Uh, this is the perfect opportunity for me to go for a agility. That's exactly what I'm gonna go for here. He's most likely going to switch into Among Us. Yeah, he goes for the Among Us, which is okay. He's most likely going to go for the Spore after this, which would make sense. I mean, in a way, it would make sense. Um. There is nothing else on my team that would appreciate a Spore, so I might as well just stay in here, going for the Ice Beam. Do as much damage as I possibly can before he puts me to sleep. Alright, that does quite a bit of damage. Because of the Life Orb, he's gonna go for the Spore now. And, uh... <coughs> I'm gonna be put to sleep. Which is not good. But now I have to switch. Because staying is not an option. It's most likely going to go for what I call the, uh, damn it, what is it again? The uh, lead seed. Yeah, that exactly. That's what I'm talking about. Uh-huh. Okay. Mm, I am going to switch out into Gardevoir. Specifically, be specifically because I want to trace its ability, which is going to be Regenerator. Absolutely 100% sure of that. And I'm going to be switching out in a moment, so I can recover my HP. So it's going to switch out here, which makes sense. And it's going to go out into this thing. Okay, so the Porygon Seed comes out. I am not in great shape. And uh, I don't know what it's going to go for. Um, going for the try attack would make a lot of sense. Uh, right, so <coughs> I'm going to predict the uh, try attack. I'm just gonna go out into Rhydon because he might go for the Thunderbolt, predicting the switch into Napoleon. And uh, something is telling me that his Porygon C is choiced in some way because mine is though. Oh my, whoa, that thing is, oh, that's a crit. Wow, that sucks, man. That really sucks. Okay. Wow, that really sucks. I'm just gonna go for the Rook Tomb here. Because he's gonna take me out anyway. And I believe he's Joyce Packs now. Even though that crit is 1.5 boosted. Um, so it still did a lot of damage though. Well, whatever the case, I'm just gonna go out into Ace, which is gonna be my Scarf Dermanitan, and the way that I brought him in is absolutely screaming the Scarf, so I guess he's gonna switch out. Predicting the Flare Blitz, now that he no longer has the Rotom Wash for him, that Flare Blitz will not be resisted by it, so his only call would be the two dragons, or I mean. One is Dragon type, the other is Rock type. But they are both flying, so the Aerodactyl or the Dragon. 
And I'm just gonna go for the rock slide, if that's going to be the case then. I'm going to go for the rock slide, predicting the switch into one of those two. Alright, so he's gonna go for the spook, which is okay. Because, right, he, is, he wants to change my ability to mummy. And that doesn't do anything, actually. Should have gone for the U-turn. <laughs> <coughs> Alright, so screw this, I'm gonna switch out into Porygon C. My per Porygon C, and I'm just gonna Dark Pulse away. Yeah, I'm actually going to do that. Absolutely. I don't really see other other or a different way or different path to take. Uh, in comes the toxic spikes. Okay. Mm. All right. So dark pulse away. That's what it's going to do. That's what I'm going to do though. I'm not sure if he's going to switch, but if he's going to switch, whatever comes in is going to take heavy damage from the Dark Pulse. Because even though it's not stabbed, it's quite a powerful attack. Not to mention that I do in fact have a choice packs going on on this thing. Or attached to this Porygon C, so I'll be dealing damage to no tomorrow. Alright, so in comes these Among Us again. And Dark Pulse has a slight chance of actually flinching the opposition. Oh my god, Black Sludge, okay. So, um, he, he, he actually put something to sleep, right? Yeah, he did. Um, okay. Um... I am going to switch into Gardevoir. I'm going to do the exact same thing again. I'm going to copy its ability Regenerator. And at some point I'll have to switch out and I'll regain the HP back, so... That's good. Oh my god, Sludge Bomb Super Fail. Oh my god, no! A crit- Are you serious? Again! The same thing happens in the last battle, that's why I didn't enjoy it, because game-changing critical hits are so annoying. But okay, I guess I'll have to live with that. There is really no other option. Uh... You know, whatever the case, I'm just gonna go out into Ace and I'm just gonna go for the Flare Blitz. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for the Flare Blitz now. You just made me mad, dude. Let's go. Flare Blitz away. Doesn't matter what you switch into, it's gonna get, it's gonna get Flare Blitz to the face. Die. Alright, so he goes down, he stays in for some random reason. I hope he's not feeling bad for me, because... I will definitely not feel bad for you when something like that happens. Uh, okay, so I'm poisoned, and that's not good. But he's got only one layer, and Among Us is actually out of the game, which is good. He's gonna bring out this thing again. And uh, from prior experiences with this um, Confagrigus, I know he, he's a Resto Chesto. Uh, not a Resto Chesto, a uh, Rest uh, Stalker, I guess. That's what I, I think that's how you call it. Uh, okay. I am just going to go for another Flare Blitz, because I am tired of this Pokemon. I, I need to break his defensive core, because otherwise I'm not getting anywhere. Woo! That does quite a lot of damage. Sheer Force changes to Mummy, and he is most likely going to go for the rest now. Oh, he's going to go for the Hex instead. Yeah, that's going to take me out. That's fine. Now I can bring in my uh, Porygon C and basically finish this guy off. Or should I? I mean, I can bring out Handy and go for the Thief, but I'm not sure if it's going to kill. No, it's not. Yeah, you know, I'm just going to go for the save move. I'm just going to go out into Porygon C. And, uh, yeah, I'm just going to Dark Pulse away, I guess. 
I'm not sure if a Thunderbolt will KO from this. Yeah, it will definitely KO, I'm pretty sure. So, I am going to go for... What is actually stronger, Dark Pulse or Ice Beam? I don't know, maybe they have the same base attack? Oh no, wait, Dark Pulse is actually weaker. But it is super effective. But still, I'm just gonna go for the Ice Beam here. Because that actually hits the two flying dead Pokemon's left on his team for super effective damage. And his Porygon C, his personal Porygon C, is still gonna take a lot of damage from the Ice Beam. Which is cool. So it's gonna withdraw this thing. And it's gonna bring in his uh, Dragon type. Which I just don't remember how it's called, really. Alright, just caught on the switch, super effective. So, four times super effective, and he's down. Now he's gonna bring out his Aerodactyl, which is uh, what I think is Mega Evolution. Mega Aerodactyl is a threat. I've only used it like four times, and that was at the very beginning of this game. And it, it it's, it's really a really good Pokemon. Alright. I just don't know if it's Choice Scarf or Choice Specs, just like me. I don't know. But um, I am going to switch into Napoleon because I want to find out. You know, have you ever noticed how dumb <coughs> Porygon C looks like? Or like, it gets these weird attacks, it moves like so weird. I don't know what's going on with that Pokemon, but okay. I guess there is too much intelligence going on. I guess he's too smart. Yeah, that guy's totally choice packs. There is no He's he has adaptability. That much I know, but wow, that hurts, man. And that's a lot of damage. It really does. So he's going to switch out into no. No. Wake up. You wake up right now, stupid penguin. You wake up right now. I forgot about the mommy. Wake up, please. Wait, 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 wait. Come on, come on. Yes! Hit him! Perfect! Good job. Good job. Hydro Pump is gonna take him down. Absolutely gorgeous. You are amazing, Napoleon. Thank you. I got scared for a second. I got scared. Alright, in comes Mr. Earthquaking. Donald. Okay. Well, whatever. He's gonna go for the flash cannon. He's gonna kill me anyway. And in comes the mega. Oof, scary. I've lost this game, I think. <laughs> yeah, I've lost it. Ouch. Alright, so uh, Napoleon goes down. I only have two Pokemon left. And he has two Pokemon left as well. But he has a powerhouse Aerodactyl. Which is going to kill me. And uh, that sucks. Alright, in comes Porygon C then. I just hope I can live through any attack. That, that, that would be freaking awesome. So I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna go for the Ice Beam here. And just pray to God that I do live through one of these attacks. Alright, he's gonna go for the Sky Drop. Who uses that? I've like really? I've used that move like in, in game one time. Yeah, that's gonna be uh, that's gonna kill me. It's stabbed and tough claws is gonna be active, and he's gonna get a critical hit. Good job. I am so dead. Well, good game anyway, dude. Good game. See, I enjoy this one. Um, uh, right. So fake out, that's really like the only thing that I can do right now. <coughs> do a little bit of damage before I go down. And the poison is gonna be dealing damage. And I need a double critical hit from double hit. <laughs> oh, right, he's faster, I forgot. The thing is so fast, it's incredible. And I just don't understand how Sky Drop can, like, uh, cancel out your attack. It just, I don't know. I, I think that that's weird. 
Ouch, I'm dead. Oh, I live. I live? How do I live? Uh, but okay, it doesn't matter. I'm dead anyway. Alright, so good game. Good game, man. Good game. Alright, guys, so if you want to go ahead and check out his channel, link will be down in the description. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, Swagleaf, thank you <coughs> very much for the game. I'm sorry I'm co coughing again. But hey, I'm still not 100% recovered. So, that's it is what it is. Anyways, guys, thank you very much for the patience. Uh, more videos to come, though. And I'll try to get a better team because my teams lately have been quite, you know, weird and not really useful at all. So, anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching once again. Comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll definitely check you guys later. Remember, 40 likes for this video for more live commentated Wi-Fi battles. All right, that's it. See you guys then.